hello everybody welcome to my video today i am going to be doing a get ready with me whilst i answer some of your guys questions um and then just some random questions that i thought about because i did do like one of them instagram things on my story um i keep looking down because all my makeup's down in and i'm like wow i actually really look like I, like compared to what i used to wear my makeup since lockdown has like gone from this much to this much really gone down a lot look how cute this urban outfit is urban outfit this t-shirt is I, i'm loving the tie-dye uh, i'm in front of my wardrobe by the way if you're wondering what this is uh, i i sorted out all my wardrobe during lockdown except for my drawers i need to do with them because we are I don't think I've spoke about this yet, but we are building a cabin in my back garden for me to live in. So I'm gonna have my own room. So if you want to see like the stages of decorating, because obviously it's, we've already knocked. We had a massive old cabinet start like at the bottom of his garden. We knocked it all down, making a big base. The cabin comes on Tuesday that we have to assemble, and it apparently it is very difficult. So I'm excited for that. And then we've got to put floor in, walls, because I'm having a walk-in wardrobe. It is going to be so exciting. I can't wait just to have my own space. Obviously, I'm turning 17 in about eight months. I know that sounds a lot, but I'm, like, growing up and I need my space. Plus, Annie is growing up, my little sister. She turned seven in September. And her room is a very, very small room. So, she'll be moving into my room, which she's very excited about. Uh, but, but let's get started anyway into my makeup. I'm going to use the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. I'm running out of this. When I ordered it, I, do, I did think it was going to be much bigger. Oh, and I'm ro like red raw from sun outside. At least that's the positive from like be being in lockdown is the weather. It is being amazing. And my back... I wore this crop top today in some joggers because obviously I'm in garden and I'm working I'm getting muddy and I've got like a tan line in my joggers and my uh, crop top on my back and my back's for every hour but I'm like I'm not putting sun cream on because I want to tan but obviously that is not the way to go about it and you haven't seen my hair I totally forgot to say that I've just looked and I'm like wait this is my natural hair I decided to take my extensions out and give it a trim because they have and bleach obviously has destroyed my hair big time like it used to be very long like I, I say it used to be long but I bet it was right up to here which is much longer than it was now it's always been thin my hair but I had to do it because it is just getting like my hair's in a very bad condition so i thought lockdown obviously is such a good time for me to like look after my hair do treatments i've been taking these tablets i'm just going to use my fenty beauty foundation which is in 290 and just this duo fiber brush it's like a it's got like fine hairs on top so it doesn't really the brush doesn't hold that that much so i get all the product on uh, I've been loving this foundation, even though it does oxidise quite a little bit. It's still a nice foundation, and I'm just literally dabbing it on because I'm not blending it in yet. Um, I feel like I ain't done a makeup video in a long time, like sitting down doing my makeup. Obviously, I this YouTube channel did start from being makeup, and now it is a bit of everything right let me get into the first question uh, i do remember these because there wasn't that many but i am gonna like make my own quick like obviously just things that i'd like to know about people ask about myself uh was where do you like to shop the most a few people did ask me that and i like to shop on urban outfitters most recently i do think it is a weird website but you do find some good buys when you like type in the right stuff. Obviously, I love wearing big t-shirts recently. Obviously, we're locked down and being comfy. And I'd rather invest in something that I know I'm going to wear more instead of loungewear because I don't think I'll wear that after lockdown. But these big t-shirts, like with some denim shorts, I think they look really cute. Especially for summer. And then in winter, I can just put it on with some leggings and go out. 
uh, to do runs so I think that is not when I say runs I don't mean actually runs like going at sharp or like stuff like that no I'm not going on a run don't worry. I, I can imagine what everyone's thinking then like wait this bitch runs no no I don't pretty little thing I do shop on there but I don't really I don't I find some good things like my grey joggers I love my grey joggers and some tops uh, also house of cb i love house cb it's my, one of my favorites it's got so nice like tops and dresses and blazers i just love house of cb like i think it's so cute another one is top shop uh, I, I, i've not been shopping as much recently there but it is still a good shop like the jeans and some tops you can get there they're like good finds and bags but I think that's really, yeah, I can't... ASOS, oh my god, that is another one, a big one that I shop on, ASOS. You have to f go on though, quick, because they do sell out, and I don't think they really stock up that much on certain items, but they have got some good finds. You've got to think though, like with ASOS, like you've got to be like, hmm, imagine that with like some jeans, or imagine that with like a skirt. It's a bit like the way they present the clothes sometimes i do think it looks a bit oldish but you've just got to think of your style which i've been doing quite a lot recently is just thinking about how i like want to present myself and what i like um i have been looking at college courses as well this is off topic and if any of you wanting to know what i'm wanting to do my stepdad owns his own granite business um and he has asked me if I want to like join and do websites and I think I'd love to go into that and I do think I'm going to go into that. I was going to do makeup at college but I don't know. I feel like what they show is already what I know so I didn't really think it would like provide that much for me and the courses just didn't look that good. Like you've, I don't know, it's just confusing. Like I feel like I'd get bored of it which is not what we want obviously because the college I wanted to go to you would have to pay money for it. I was just like, I feel like it'll be a waste. Um so I think I'm gonna do something like account account is it an accountant or business and learn something like that whilst doing an apprenticeship for my stepdad because I don't want to be doing full time college. I just want to be doing obviously I have to be in education till I'm eighteen. So I am wanting to do that how has lockdown been and what like i've been doing lockdown that were a question uh, i've been mainly working in the garden i haven't really been doing anything else other than baking and doing quizzes with your friends that's a really fun idea i'm doing one tonight um i've done questions on like history of my friend of my work colleagues and like when we've been out and stuff like funny stuff that's happened which i'm telling you these girls are crazy um i've just blended in my concealer i can't really see that good i probably look like shy bingo like onto your family friend family's friends that is a very fun idea and it keeps you all like sane is that oh is that a word yeah sane um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube. Um, oh my god, I forgot to tell you about my hair. I'm gonna dye it pink. I know I've just said about keeping my hair good condition. It's looking so yellow right now. Like, and I'm gonna use the only semi permanent one. I ordered it yesterday. It's called, it's from Bleach London. Is it Bleach or Beach? Like, some at London and it is just a semi-permanent in rose so hopefully it looks good because if it doesn't i can just wash it out but my mum's always been like oh my god you need to have like peach hair and i've been like mom no i'm not gonna rock that but um why not just why not i'm loving these bright colors at the moment so let's just do it 
Uh, I am alone now. My boyfriend was living. I don't know if I said this in the last video. But my boyfriend was living with me and then he's gone home. Milk and tanned in my face. I feel like my face is really tender than like there's this like awkward bit of my skin that's really grey and it looks weird. How am I feeling about like leaving school earlier? That were a good question that someone came up with. I'm not saying names because obviously I don't know if they want to be known about it. I don't know. They, they just I can't remember either <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. But uh, I am missing it. Like I was looking through videos the other day of me and my friends and I am it is sad like I really do I used to hate school like I was the person in the year that would hardly go and always complain about being there and always leave there that's probably what me and my friend Kia were known for is just leaving so yeah I'm missing my friends though and I'm excited for prom because we're still definitely having it if if we didn't have prom I think I'd genuinely like sue the schools because We've all bought our prom dresses and we've all, like, prepared for school. Like, this big prom that we're all really excited for. And if it just got cancelled, it'd make me so sad. I'd be like... <laughs> like, that is the last thing that my year is going to do together. But I just can't believe it's fallen on my year. Like, it couldn't have come at a better time for me. I hate sitting, like, GCSEs. And it... I think God has done this on a purpose for me because he knows that I could, I am pretend, I have big potential in lessons and subjects and in the exams for more subjects. I just don't do well in like history. I'm going to tell you this product. It is the Laura Mercier um, Candle Glow and I've been using this as a bronzer and it is so nice. Look, it's just so pretty. Um, yeah, history, I used to be so good at, and then I ju it just went down here, like, it takes me, I learn from practising, I don't learn from, he like, heaving it and just knowing straight away, like, with maths and stuff, I was so good at, like, remembering equations and stuff for maths and quotes, I, actually, I was really bad at quotes, I can't remember, I could remember quotes, I would, before the exam, I would sit there, listening to the teacher speak, reading all the quotes over and over again, and as soon as I got in exam all, I'd write them down, because that's the only way I can remember things, like dates, in history, I just don't think it's there, like, you get told so much to remember, and I was just that girl in lesson where I was so jealous of, like, some of the people that just knew it off by heart, and I'm sat here, like... I sound dumb as shit. I just don't know anything. And everyone thinks I'm stupid, but I'm not. I just don't like this subject. I'm, I'm just bad. I just, I just didn't help myself either. Like, I'd not listen. And I'd just mess about because I wasn't interested. And that's not the way to go about with guys that like, don't ever think like that. But I was just stupid. And I thought that's like... I'm never going to, I thought, I'm never going to pass, so what is the point of me trying? And that is not the mindset to have at all. And English, I don't know if you all even want to hear about this, but it's interesting. Um, nah, not really, but <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Uh, in English, I had a teacher called Miss Daly who sadly left, and she was such a nice teacher. Like, I'm not down, like, down in her in any way, if that's even a word. I feel like that's what I say, if that's even a word, because I don't even know if that is a word. I don't want to offend her, that's the, that's the one. In any way, but I loved her as a teacher, like, she was probably one of my favourites. It rather, no, Miss Furwell was my favourite, but she was definitely second in, like, how nice she was. But how she taught, it didn't help me at all, like, she went off remembering and I go off practising if that makes sense to you but i still used to sit there and like joining in class that like, i'll always me chatting in classes yeah that's that's the thing and i always used to try like i never did used to disrespect to and not try but in exams i'd just do rubbish then i had mr john sealed and he goes off practicing like doing peel paragraphs all the time and i just went from like a free 
to like a six, nearly seven, and I went top at class. I was so proud of myself. Like the girl, this girl that used to sit on my table, I used to sit there and miss a. Uh, daily's class lessons and be like i just want to be as clever as you and then in mr johnsfield me and her were like top top of the class and what our names would always get like told for top scores on these papers and i was just like oh my god i've done it but i promise you in year nine in year i don't know if you know this either i actually did move schools i was at a different school and when i moved because I it wasn't like near me this school and I was like this I've got no friends round here and I want friends round here obviously because I don't want to be travelling that far all the time to see your friend like them friends. Um so I moved and it was I'm so so glad I did. And in year eight, nine and ten I was me and my friend Kia, we were we were not like we were not eh. We did get away with murder as well. But then in year 11, it all changed. I worked top dog. Obviously, in year 10, I did a GCSE as well. Like, I wasn't that bad in year 10. Year 9, though, that was my bad year. I was a naughty girl that year. But we'll not talk about it because that's not me anymore. But I wasn't... Like, year 9, I was rude. And then year 10, I wasn't rude. But I was not like, we eyelashes and stuff. I was, like, naughty like that. But it just happens, you go through them phases. So another question I got is, what is my, wait, well, let me just double read it, because I don't know if it's what my favorite thing to do. Like, where would you spend all your time if you could? If I could spend my time anywhere, it would definitely be like on holiday in LA, but that's not really reality. In reality, I spend all my time in my room, definitely, and in the kitchen yeah that's definitely where i spend my time most and kitchen not because i i eat loads yeah funny uh kitchen because i that's i've got a living room slash kitchen so all the family's down there and i just think the most funniest things happen there like my family's crazy like my boyfriend even said whilst they were living with me they were a crazy bunch but the best bunch like we are crazy we are crazy me my brother annie janice my mum janice is my stepdad but he's actually called jamie but i call him janice because i just think it's hilarious we did that snapchat filter on him once and he looked like and it just janice that's where janice emerged from and it's never gonna go away i i automatically call him janice that's how bad it's getting i'm like janice janice but obviously I am very like to spend all my time with my friends and stuff definitely because I am missing them a hell of a lot. What are my dreams and ambitions? So my ambitions are definitely to get far far in life, not through social media, but that would be very nice if it would because I do love posting like Instagrams and coming up with ideas and like colour schemes. I love doing that. But it's not really like some, I don't see it some, as something that will get me through life. So definitely something that will give my like family a big opportunity like make us like f a good life if, if you get me. That's definitely one of my big ambitions. And business, I really want to become successful through business. I just think women, like I see a lot of business women and I just love that power, like that power that you get from it. And I just love that one day. So I'm going to do some bronzer on the eye. Um, what's... So I'm just, I'm just doing some bronzer on the eye. I'm just going to go in with the MAC one that I used as contour. What is the first thing I will be doing when I get out of lockdown? I will definitely be visiting my friends because if you're thinking like oh why are your friends are not your family I live with all my family my nana lives next door to me and my oh my boyfriend as well I'll be seeing him but I think I'll like see him during the day and then at night I'll see girls 
uh, definitely going out. I just want to go out, like, just want to leave the house and get back to reality. Um, eat somewhere with my family. We used to do that every Sunday, is go for a meal. If that's like Nando's or a carvery place, um, we'd do that all the time. And I really do miss doing that, like eating and seeing people. It's just like, you get bored of seeing the same things and I'm someone that gets bored really easily. So, I just, I need some fresh faces. Um, another question, next question is what is something I don't miss, like during lockdown? I think that's quite a hard question for whoever asked me this one, but I don't miss, probably school, but I do miss it, but I don't. Uh, um, something I don't miss doing is spending all my money, like whilst being out, like, I have been spending money while I've been in lockdown, but like I used to spend a lot of money at this like the same time. Like I just get front bank all my money out <laughs> and spend it. But I've been looking after my money, and hopefully when I come out of lockdown, I will be a rich bitch and I'll be able to buy everything. Um, next question: What app have I been using the most recently? I've been using it's either Instagram or FaceTime. I haven't been on FaceTime though, so um, I've been going on Facebook quite a lot more, but TikTok definitely is most. <laughs> I've just been sitting, and if I've got nothing to do, I'll just go on TikTok. I've not been making as much TikToks so. though. I've been thinking of ideas to make TikToks, but I've not been on it, like, making them as much. Don't know why, I'm just thinking, like, there's just people now that are just way better than me, so what's the point in making them? Because I just look stupid. I think like, I look really silly on them. <laughs> I think for a video I'm going to do, my mum buys me an outfit, like, chooses me an outfit. Because today, I was looking at our CB and they've got like a free for 130 on and they've got this top, really one that's there and I'm like, oh, fuck you. Um, and I'm like, look at this top and I'm like, that's disgusting. I was like, thanks. Um, it wasn't that top though, it were a different one. So I feel like our taste has like changed loads. So I'd like to see what she'd get me. I feel like you should just get like some mom jeans, a top, but I don't know. I don't know whether she'd shock me and get me something I'd... I'm like, mom, what the fuck is this? Like, what have you got me? Um, I'd love to do like a boyfriend chooses my outfit. I feel like he'd do so bad. I don't know why. I think that because he's bad at, co bad, bad at cooking, but I don't know why I think that. Because he's... And he's got like quite a style. Like he wears like patterned shirts. Like I've seen quite a few, quite a few photos with him with them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like he'd not choose the right things. I'm just gonna do my mascara off camera because I look like I don't even know what I look like. But I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll come back to see us. Can you see? I'm just going to be I'm going to pull off once when I do that. I'm just going to use my favourite lip hair, which is the Fendi Beauty Unbuttoned Stunner Lip Pin. Oh, 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 oh. And then I'm going to put this, oh, oopsies, this peach, uh, peach, ugh, peaches and cream lip gloss that's called Dream On. And when I sorted all my stuff out, I found so many gadgets, like my lipsticks, my necklaces, uh, photo albums, my Polaroid camera. I found the shit and I was so happy. Oh no. <gasps> shit. 
look oh no look what i've done can you see i dropped my charlotte tilbury powder and it's broke and then it's like falling out everywhere oh no so that is my makeup complete i'm gonna go and do my quiz and eat some curry because i fancy some curry at tesco microwave chica chica chicken tikka masala get on it peng peng ting i'm telling you papadoms mango chutney the what peng um yeah i'm gonna go and eat that and then have my quiz while shrinking malibu and coke because i fancy it and it is the best summertime drink so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoy quarantine